In the video for today, I'm going to speak to you about whether or not tracking applications or websites can help you track a lost or stolen phone using its IMEI number. And by the end of the video, I'm going to speak to you about the best tracking application or procedure to get back your lost or stolen Android phone. The first sensible thing that we do when we lose our phones is to track it by ourselves. So what we do is we get online to Google and do a search for maybe track a lost phone using IMEI number for free or anything on these lines. So Google being a fantastic search engine gives us the best suggestions available. And then you scroll down and one by one get onto these websites, put in the IMEI number and try to trace it to a specific location. All right. If this doesn't work, it doesn't give you a location properly. You get to the next one. If this doesn't work, you get to to the next one if this doesn't work you get to the next one so on and so forth okay now the main point here is to get back your phone not just to you know show the last location of your device these websites have simple tools that is going to give you an approximate location of your phone or the last location of your phone and mind you, don't compare these websites with uh, Google Find My Device or Find Hub or Find My iPhone or whatever legal websites are there. So if you're thinking that you could get onto Google or you could get onto an application and try and track your phone, you're going to get your phone back. That's very difficult. It may not happen. There's a high probability. OK, so in such a situation, what should we do? I understand the fact that losing your phone is actually very painful but these are the steps what you need to take to ensure that you actually try and get back your phone the first step is get to the police station this is the first thing what you need to do get to the police station file in an fir and keep a copy of that fir when you file in a missing complaint you are alerting the authorities that your phone has been misplaced and if there is any kind of a misuse going further on your phone specifically on that imei number you are not going to be held for it because i have come across a lot of people who have been held responsible for things that they haven't done after they had lost their phones the second thing is to try and track it yourself so if you are having an android device that is registered on google find hub or find my device you go ahead and just do a search for find my device on Google and then you get to Google find my device or find hub it's the same thing sign in with the same email address that was on the lost or stolen phone then you go ahead and select the device that was lost or stolen and within few seconds or a couple of minutes Google find hub is going to direct you to the location of the phone now this could be the current location of your phone it could be there if the location is saying that it's in a restaurant or a gym or anything on those lines you could just get to the location and get back your phone but if your phone is not there it means that this was the last location of your phone maybe your phone is in silent mode and it is somewhere lying around once you click on play sound your phone is going to ring even if it is in silent mode once you try this and your phone is not ringing it means it's not around somebody has taken your phone what you need to do is secure your device click on this option you get a pop-up like this and if you click on secure your device it's going to be locked with a pin or a password or a pattern whatever you remember even after you do this you could try locating it you could wait for five to ten minutes or an hour or two and again try locating it on find hub itself the way i showed you still if the location is not changing it means that this was the last location you go ahead and click on the third option you click on factory reset device once your device comes online all your data that was on the phone synced with your google account is going to get erased at least if you do not get your phone back your data shouldn't be misused that is the most important thing these days cyber crime is on another level so you need to ensure that your data is not misused you could use this option this is going to help you in the next step what you can also do is if you're located in india you could report this to a specific department known as ceir you could just get onto google and do a search for ceir and get to their website click on ceir services Click on block stolen or lost mobile phone. Fill up this form, 
upload a copy of the FIR and an invoice. Checkbox this, submit the form, get a request ID or a reference ID and keep it. And you could keep a track of the investigation on the website itself. Even after you file in an FIR, you should do this. And if you're in a different location, try and do a Google search for a department that is dedicated to tracking loss of stolen phones, a government recognized department, not a you know private company or anything on those lines because most private companies that are uh, available online are mostly going to give you generic information or if they're asking you for a fee it's going to be a scam you're not going to be helped there could be a genuine company i'm not saying all companies are going to be fake a company may just take a fee and try and help you to track your phone that's okay but if they are keeping on asking you for money if they're asking you for huge amounts it means that is a red flag, right? So we need to avoid all those things. And I hope you got some knowledge and value from my video for today. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.